Hello and welcome to this demo. This demo will be focusing on integration of Databricks with SQL databases using JDBC methods. So the intended audience uh, of, you know, a Databricks environment can be a new admin who is trying to set up a secure workspace, a data engineer who is trying to create their first production pipeline, a data scientist who might be trying to get their first experiment working or doing some feature engineering, and data analysts who are trying to plug into the existing data in the lake house ecosystem to set up their first dashboards. This specific demo is more focused towards data engineers. So that's where, you know, the personas would be more, uh, personas who are in data engineering space would be more interested in. So the objective of this demo is to use the JDBC drivers that are in the cluster to connect to a SQL Server instance using Python language. After reading, uh, we want to put the data in a data table. So let's see how we accomplish that. To, to get to the SQL Server instance or to connect to it, we would primarily need four things, the database username and password that we are using to connect, the host name or the endpoint for the database and the port. Since we are using the username and password here, it won't be a good idea to uh, expose them as a free form text. So what we are doing here, we are using the Databricks secrets API to, sto to get the retrieve the values that we have stored uh, as key value pairs. So in this case, we are putting that information from DB user uh, secret into JDBC username variable. Similarly here, password is taking the value from this particular secret, right? Now we are just creating our JDBC URL here. We are passing all the information that we have collected so far. We are invoking the variables here uh, and, and you know putting them in this username and password fields. And we're just testing to make sure our JDBC URL is, is of uh, you know the right format. So once I have the JDBC URL, the username password, um, I can provide that information to connect to my database and create a data frame out of it. So here I'm passing uh, in the spark.read.jdbc, the JDBC URL, the table name, and the JDBC properties. And when I look at the contents of this data frame, it's exactly reflecting the contents of my SQL Server table. After this is done, I can also create a table in Delta by using my SQL Server table as a source. So here I'm creating a table. This is exactly similar to create table as. So I'm creating a table if it doesn't exist on the database that I'm providing here, which is uh, default database, which is this guy. Um, I'm passing the options, which are the URL, which is the JDBC URL, the table name, the username and password that are encrypted or are, are hidden uh, in the keys, uh, the database cre uh, keys that, that I've already created in the beginning of this notebook. I'm able to create the table and I'm able to select the information from that Delta table, just like any other Delta table. I can also use the data frame that I created earlier to write to a Delta format. So in this case, I'm using an overwrite mode, writing the, uh, uh, writing the information in the Delta format on the Delta path that I declared in the beginning of this notebook, right? And I'm able to read it uh, just like any other Delta table. I can also look at the contents of this Delta path where this table is created in, a, in the lake house ecosystem. I can see that it contains my data log as well as the contents of my uh, uh, data frame that I that I uh, wrote in overwrite mode in this in this uh, location, which is uh, typical for any uh, Delta format table. So in the example we just saw, we were able to connect to SQL Server database. We didn't have to put anything to our cluster, any kind of JDBC drivers to connect to SQL Server because it's already part of the clusters that we set up by default. But if you're trying to connect to say Oracle database, we will have to specify a different driver that is more compliant for uh, JDBC connectivity with Oracle databases. We will also have to physically put the jar file for the JDBC driver into our cluster. So I'll go to my uh, Oracle downloads page, right? I will go and download the JDBC driver, which is compliant uh, or, or which is required for this particular 
uh, connectivity. I'll go back to my uh, cluster that I'm using and I'll try to upload this driver into my cluster in the library section. It's as easy as that, right? Once I have done that, I should be able to connect to my Oracle databases as well. So if I go back to my example here, to connect to my Oracle database, uh, it's almost similar syntax that I, I, I use for my SQL Server connectivity. The only difference would be obviously for the driver, I would have to use a different uh, uh, driver uh, invocation here, which will be Oracle JDBC driver. And once we have that, we should be able to connect to any Oracle uh, database instance as well. For additional information to supplement this demo on how to connect to SQL databases using JDBC protocol, we would recommend you to go to the official Databricks documentation where you would not only get ready-made templates for reading data through JDBC, but also how you can write data to a JDBC compliant database. It also talks about how you can improve the performance using push down optimization, manage a parallelism on the database side, as well as other techniques. This documentation talks about the Python examples, examples in Spark SQL, as well as Scala. Hopefully you found this demo useful for your uh, connectivity use cases with SQL databases. Thank you.